dinosaurs ended millions of years ago, yet scientists have only been studying them for hundreds. Great civilizations like ancient Egypt and the Roman Empire rose and fell with no one ever knowing such creatures had once existed. It is likely that people in those times uncovered dinosaur bones, but nobody knew exactly what they were. Writings from ancient China going back over 2,000 years mention bones that people believed belonged to dragons. Today, scientists believe that these were in fact dinosaur bones. In 1676, English naturalist Robert Plot discovered a bone that he believed to have belonged to a Roman war elephant or even a human giant. Although the bone itself is lost, we now know that Plot had actually discovered the femur of a Megalosaurus, a carnivorous dinosaur of the mid-Jurassic period. Megalosaurus is notable in the study of paleontology because it is believed to have been the first dinosaur officially recognized by science. I'm Donald, and this is my assistant, Bear. In the last 200 years, scientists have made many exciting discoveries about dinosaurs, and more are being made all the time. But this is the story of how it all began. First, though, we should probably get to know Megalosaurus itself, and you'll see just how much we've learned since then. Megalosaurus lived on Earth about 176 million to 161 million years ago. It is believed to have grown about 30 feet long and 10 feet high, with a weight of nearly a ton. Fossil remains have been found only in the county of Oxfordshire, in southeast England. Like Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, Megalosaurus belonged to the theropod clade, a group of bipedal and typically carnivorous dinosaurs. In 1824, geology professor William Buckland examined a lower jaw, limb bones, and vertebrae found in the quarries of Oxfordshire. He concluded that the remains were those of a large reptile, and gave it the name Megalosaurus, which means Great Lizard. Buckland's model, however, was very far off from how Megalosaurus was truly built. Buckland believed the creature was 40 feet long, walked on four legs, and was just at home in the water as it was on land. This reconstruction was built in 1854 and still stands on display at Crystal Palace Park in London. As you can see, Megalosaurus was originally envisioned very differently from how it actually looked. The fossils of two other dinosaurs were discovered not long after those of Megalosaurus. Iguanodon in 1825, and Hyliosaurus in 1833. Anatomist Richard Owen studied these fossils and concluded that they came from a unique group of animals. In 1841, he coined the term dinosaur for these creatures. The name dinosaur comes from two Greek words, dinos, meaning terrible, and soros, meaning lizard. As Owen explained in an edition of the British Association for the Advancement of Science, the combination of such characters, altogether peculiar among reptiles, all manifested by creatures far surpassing in size the largest of existing reptiles, will, it is presumed, be deemed sufficient ground for establishing a distinct tribe or suborder of Saurian reptiles, for which I would propose the name of Dinosauria. This was just the beginning of our long fascination with the prehistoric world. Our understanding of these amazing animals has come a long way since those first fossils came to our attention, and we are learning more about them all the time. Scientists believe there could be fossils of many more species just waiting to be discovered. Whether in the past or present, there is more about the wild world to discover every day. Never stop exploring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.